Hi guys, it's Antoinette the Confident Woman and welcome back to my channel, your one-stop source to all things relating to confident living. And I decided to do this video, um, how to make your house smell amazing, because a lot of people have actually commented that when they come to my house, they think it smells really nice. I will take the compliment, but I just want to put a disclaimer out there. It is not always smelling like this. No, I do make a conscious effort and try as hard as possible because I enjoy my surrounding areas smelling nice. I do make that effort. I know I do, but it's not always like this, especially if I'm cooking and you know with children. But yeah, I will list seven items that I kind of like, I adamantly use a lot of the time and I look use a lot of them interchangeably and I thought I'll just let you guys know it anyway a lot of them you will know and if you've been following my videos a lot of you will know the items that I'm about to talk about but I just thought I'll put it in one video for you guys under my new series home and lifestyle so without wasting too much time let's just get straight into it and I've split the seven items into two categories natural and um, non-natural products because I'm tending to kind of go towards using more natural products now um, I just want to do that so yeah the first item that I have on my list is um, my diffuser I've mentioned this so many times I've even said this in my one of my current favorites videos I don't only find them um, beneficial for health reasons like good for the air and all of that. I have a range of essential oils and I've kind of learned to mix certain oils together that just smell so divine. So if you want to create a certain atmosphere in your home or want it to smell a certain way, like I mix certain um, essential oils together and just put the diffuser on and it kind of just blasts it into the atmosphere. It's like, yeah, one of my go-to things to do i just want the house smelling nice and i also use it like in the bedrooms like if you've got lavender oil you want to sleep well at night just put it on and it doesn't only smell good but it just calms you down and you have like a really good night's rest so diffusers are my number one item obviously with essential oils and you can also um get the Oh, what do you call these things? Wax burners. I have a, quite a few of them. I don't use them as much as my diffusers, but I do have them. Some are electric. I don't have the electric ones, but I have the ones where you put light the tea candle under it and you drop the essential oils on the top as well. And it just makes your house smell really nice. So essential oils used with diffusers. That's a very natural way of making the atmosphere in your home smell great. So the third item, when we went to Dubai um, on holiday, you know they have some amazing, amazing fragrances there. And they have those things that you buy and then you burn them just to make your house and your home smell really nice. And I got two of them, two different smells. And yeah, I've been, I used this sparingly because obviously I got them from Dubai and I don't know when I'm going back there to get it again. If you know, like for me, if I'm like hosting or something and I just want my house to smell amazing, I burn this. And the thing about it is it lasts long. It's really strong. It can get overpowering, but if you burn it before you get your guests coming around or whatnot, it kind of like diffuses in the atmosphere. So yeah, I got that, I burned that, and it's another natural, because the ones that I got were natural. It's another natural way of making your house smell amazing. And moving on, you guys know how much I love my candles. You know what, I wasn't even really into candles until my ex-colleague got me into them, and now I just can't get enough of them. I've got so many different candles, different price ranges. I just like them really, and so yeah, burn candles especially while you're cooking i find it really effective of like getting the smell out quicker while you're cooking and stuff like that and it's just nice and relaxing to have candles around not everyone's into it but i really am into it and when i get candles i get the fragrance candles so you get the additional added smell the next item that i use is sephora i've been using this from day one and i feel like everyone's getting into sephora now but i have two um two favorites the springtime and the linen i also have winter garden that i use occasionally but these two fragrances and because sephora is so strong like when you use it the smell lasts really long so i don't only use it in my bathroom and my um kitchen i kind of like 
spritz it around like the artificial plants in my house things like that you, you know a lot of people like i kind of do what people do with febreze like they spray it around their cushions and stuff i do this with sephora and i also dab a bit on the back of my toilet roll you know when you've got the toilet roll and um, the inner bit the inner core of it the cardboard bit i dab it on there it just infuses this strong smell in your toilet for which lasts quite a while pour some down the drains if you've got smelly drains so flora is the one so it's got so many benefits but i use it mainly for the smell i'm not even gonna lie i use it just for the smell so flora get your hands on it it's dirt cheap i get mine from the pound store and there's so many different fragrances as well number six cross ventilation i it's like amazing how so many people just kind of like forget that you should just open your doors and windows but it's not just opening a random door or window kind of open opposites like if you've got a door at the back and the door at the front so that there's cross ventilation it kind of just gets rid of any clogged up smells that you have in your home whatnot so i do that a lot especially as it's coming up to spring summer just fling those doors and those windows open and let the air come in and just infuse new life and air and whatnot into your house and finally i actually got this tip from my neighbor like i went into her house and i was like why does it smell like this it smells so nice like you know that laundry smell and then she kind of told me what she does and i was like i'm copying you i'm sorry i have to do this so basically you get the little favor bags you know you can get them like on ebay or amazon really cheap and you put the unstoppable balls in them and then you place them at random spots around the house they because the balls are so strong it just fragrances the place i found though that i need to kind of like um refill it quite often but when you initially put it there it's really strong i don't use it in my laundry but i use it around the house in these little favor bags that i just place at random spots around the house but then i can only imagine how great they will smell when i put them in the laundry but i i in particular don't use them for my laundry i haven't started using them for my laundry i'm just telling you how i use them at current and it's just like it's amazing so guys these are the items that i generally use to make my house smell really nice i hope you found this video useful if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video remember it's one step at a time to becoming confident bye for now guys